The Simon Fraser University men's basketball team hosted the Seattle Pacific University Falcons on Saturday night. This is the clan's final game of the season and final game for a trio of seniors, including Justin Brown, Connor Lewis, and Zach Freelich. SFU starts off strong with a big three from the most laid-back player on the court, Justin Brown, dropping three of his 16 on the night. But the first half belonged to Seattle Pacific's number 14, Andy Poling, going 10 for 13 in the game, along with seven boards. This may be his last game, but wow does he go out in style as Zach Freelich slams it home and gets the crowd on its feet. The Falcons shooting plagued the clan all game as number two, David Downs, hits two of his three triples in the game and helps to extend Seattle's lead. Connor Lewis, another Klansman playing in his final game, responds with a bomb of his own to keep SFU within reach. Speaking of bombs, even the fans wanted to get in the long range spirit. Back to the action we go as Seattle keeps making it rain from beyond the arc. This time by number 23, Joby Wall, three of his 16. As they've done all season, the clan keep pressing with an impressive lay-in by Jordan Sturgeon. With a nice feed by Connor Lewis, Zach Freelich covers a whole bunch of real estate with the shot from beyond the three-point range. The Falcons keep the pressure on in the second frame with a big three-pointer by Stockton. A little while later, a turnover in the offensive end puts the clan on their heels as Poling takes it home for the two-handed jam. Justin Brown caps off his university career as he does in style with a long-range jumper, but it wasn't enough, however, as the Falcons seal the deal and take the win. Having been dominated on the boards, Simon Fraser drops their final game of the season by a score of 104-75. to I was able to catch up with Brown, Lewis, and Freelich, all three of them having just capped off their university career. Also, Coach Blake discusses this past season and what we should expect from the clan in the fall. I mean, it sucks that it's my last game, but I mean, I wouldn't play with any other six guys and the guys that we had out there on the court. And I mean, I love the coaching staff and I love everybody on my team. And I mean, it just feels good to be going out with people that I like to be around and I love playing with, so I enjoyed it. Uh, it felt good. Uh, they came out and watched me some at Cal Poly, but they haven't been out here except for these two, these last two games. So it felt good to just have them out there and see me play. And I'm just happy that they came. I'm just so proud to be a part of this team. We fought hard with seven guys, um, and I, like, I love every single one of those guys like brothers. So I'm just so proud to be a part of this. As far as basketball goes, I'm definitely going to take a couple weeks off. Uh, but then again, I'll, I'll, I'll definitely train with the fellas and uh, I'll help coach next year, hopefully. And then uh, as, as far as playing goes, I don't know. I don't think so. I think that's it. It was a tough one. Like, like they're a good team. Seattle Pacific's number three in our league, and they're big. And with seven guys that are all technically guards, um, it's hard to match up against. But we fought hard, and we played as hard as we could. So that's all we can really ask. It's, it's been an unbelievable year. I mean, a lot of people look at our record and say we didn't accomplish anything, but what we did as a team is, is it's unbelievable. I'm, I'm, I'm proud of every single one of our guys, and uh, I think what we've built this year is going to continue on for years to come. The effort we gave in the first half is just, it's not enough. Uh, a team like that that has so much size and, and so much shooting ability, we can't give them a lead like that, and, and we fought as hard as we could in the second half, but we're just too undermanned to be able to get back from that. You know, this school is, it's a tough school. It's, I'm gonna say it's the best school in our conference, maybe the best school in, in Division II basketball. And uh, academically, you know, you, you have to be able to focus on that and you have to, it has to mean something to you. You have to want to get a degree and to do well in school, to be here. And uh, I think it speaks to all of our guys that we've been able to be eligible and that we've done well academically. You know what, when I even talk with the guys right now, you know, this, this is my second year here and been coaching for 10 years. And, uh, this is actually an enjoyable season, believe it or not, to, uh, 
to be to go through. And the big reason why it was enjoyable is because of Justin Brown and Zach Friedlich and, and Connor Connor Lewis. You know, that's why it's enjoyable because you got you got three kids that. Uh, two of them came in with me. They were both transfers. And then Zach, that's been here for five years and just is the epitome of a Klansman and, uh, and a, uh, a student athlete. So three real high character guys uh, that made it enjoyable. So um, as far as emotions, it's, it's, you know, it's an emotional night for us because those three guys were so special. You know, the first year it was three wins. This year it's eight. You know, the goal needs to be now to make playoffs. And to make playoffs, you've got to be 500. So it's you know about 13 wins. You're looking at 13 to 16 wins, and um, that has to be the goal. You know, whenever you're building a program, there has to be progression. Uh, at an academic Division II, uh, it's a little bit harder in men's basketball to make that that transition. You know, quicker than one or two years. It's it's a four-year process, and um, you know the kids that we've brought in and the kids that are graduating now have been a part of that process. So the next step is is again to get get above 500 and and get in the playoffs and. Uh, that starts by hitting the road on Monday and, and go and get a couple more players so we don't fall in the same laps as we did this year to have seven guys finishing off the season. So, you know, getting guys that are a little bit more durable, uh, getting guys that are academically sound, uh, and again, having three, you know, getting guys that are high character guys like, like Zach, Connor, and, and JB.